timber, forests of ironbark trees and jarrah, red gum, tallow wood and mountain ash. Here in the coastal ranges of Australia flourish the giant eucalypts. For ages only the wild creatures of the bushland moved among the huge trees. Now the timber getters' camps have taken root. Pioneer settlements, deep in the forests, far from the cities and towns. Tree falling is a job for strong and skillful men. Tools of trade are the axe and the six foot crosscut saw. The axe, four and a half pounds and razor sharp. Let no one else touch it, not even your best mate, the man who works with you, your teammate. Between us, we can usually drop a 200 foot stick right on the line, just about where we want it to fall, without damage to itself or to the timber round about. Sometimes when the timber at the butt of the tree isn't good enough for milling, we cut higher up the trunk. The standing boards are notched in firmly. They have to carry the weight of a strong man swinging an axe. With a belly scarf cut on the falling side, we move round the opposite side and use a saw to drop the tree. In the past, timbermen used great teams of sweating horses or bullocks to drag the logs into the clear. And the language of the drivers was bluer than the sky. Now, tractors usually do the work, and the language of their drivers is lost behind the sound of the motors. There's pretty rough country in the ranges, and sometimes it's a job to get timber jinkers through. So we rig skylines and high lead cables and drag the logs out to the tramways.
Another load of logs on its way to the mill, and it's time to knock off for lunch. Time for a billy can of scalding black tea with the flavor of eucalyptus smoke. Here's Joe's truck. About time, too. Twice a week, hail, rain, or shine, he comes to the camp from the township down the valley. He brings the meat, the bread, the groceries, newspapers and mail, anything you like to make life in the timber camp a little easier and more up to date. It's a good life up in these ranges, peaceful and quiet and healthy, and a good place to save a bit of money, and a good place to rear children and to bring them up with a sense of belonging. When the mill opens up a new timber stand in country that's too rough for roads, they send out an advance party, the rigger and his mate. Their job is to pick out good tall trees to take high leads and skyline cables. The rigger has to lop the top off the tree and rig the pulleys and cables at the peak. He wears his climbing spurs to help him up the mountain ash. 200 feet to the top, Three hours of climbing, chopping, and sawing. It's a man's work, all right. Once, they cut down the trees and left the ground bare, and the wind and the rain turned it into wasteland. We've learned better now, and as the timber comes down, new timber grows up. Forestry officers plan the controlled cutting of stands of timber. They build access roads and supervise bushfire precautions. When we cut down trees, we leave the young stuff, and seed trees as well, so the forest will never die. And because Australia is short of natural softwoods, the forestry people grow plantations of imported pines. More than a thousand million super feet of timber comes out of the forest each year. Comes into the mills scattered along these ranges. and sawn, milled and planed. Timber for the towns and the cities and for overseas. Timber for bridges, houses, wharves, railways. One from the hardwood forests by the Australian timber getter. <laughs> 